In the beginning, God decided to do the impossible, to create a finite, diverse universe within His infinite, indivisible Self. God first created the mystical Sephirot, ten divine channels through which His infinite light could be condensed, contracted, and then released as individualized attributes that could eventually give rise to a diversity of finite creations. Let us make man in our own image, said God. No sooner said than done. Man was created in his Creator's image, with his own internal set of ten attributes through which he operates. These ten spiritual attributes are reflected in the physical human anatomy. Let's go through them, one by one. Sephira 1, Chachma. Chachma is the initial seed of an idea, the flash of undeveloped inspiration. It enables us to be creative, spiritual, transcendent. Sephira 2, Bina. Bina is the development of ideas. It enables us to be logical, analytical, organized. Sephira 3, Dot. Dot allows us to focus on an idea so that it becomes relevant and personally meaningful. It enables us to be attentive, principled, involved. Sephira 4, Chesed. Chesed is the power to love, share, and look kindly upon others. It enables us to be generous, optimistic, sociable. Sephira 5, Gevura. Gevura is the power of discipline and restraint. It enables us to be calculated, cautious, serious. Sephira 6, Teferit. Teferit is the power to empathize and to harmonize kindness with strictness based on the needs of others. It enables us to be balanced, empathetic, harmonious. Sephira 7, Netzach. Netzach is the power of determination to overcome challenge. It enables us to be persistent, forceful, daring. Sephira 8, Hod. Hod is the power of humility, gratitude, and submitting to a higher cause. It enables us to be thankful, devoted, accommodating. Sephira 9, Yesod. Yesod is the power to focus on others and to build genuine relationships. It enables us to be selfless, altruistic, loyal. And last, but not at all least, Sephira 10, Malchut. Malchut has multiple functions. It is the power of speech and action, effective communication and leadership, and to be receptive to others. It enables us to be leading, communicating, achieving. So there you have it, the ten components of the human self. The internal mechanism upon which all intellect, emotion, and actions run. God used ten sephirot to create his universe. And we use our ten sephirot to shape our miniature universes.